this site mentioned this afternoon. This is the, um, the land adjacent to the Navigator Public House. It sits on the, the corner of Sonic Lane, uh, Weed Bridge Road at Swanee. Um, we have the uh, boatyard, Swanee Marina boatyard, on the opposite side of the road. The Navigator Public House. This is a, a boat, boatyard building here, uh, running through the northwestern boundary through here on the top part of the site is a substantial mature tree buffer. You've then got properties to the northeast um, in the Green Lane. Uh, there's properties here in Sonic Lane uh, and a backline property in Sonic Lane. This here is a local authority, the council's children's play area. Here, just within the red line, here um, is a, a highway lay-by, uh, which can comfortably fit approximately three vehicles. And then on the opposite side of the road, in Swanwick Lane, here we have residential properties and also um, a block of apartments, which some members may remember we visited um, a couple of years ago on a, a members' tour. This site does lie outside the urban settlement boundary. However, this site is slightly different to the one we've previously been discussing this afternoon. This site was actually allowed on appeal in January last year, 2015, when the uh, Planning inspector considered that appeal. They allowed in outline with uh, access only to the um, 37 dwellings on the site. The application also included removing the highway lay by to facilitate adequate sight lines, and um, a planning condition was imposed uh, replacing that lay by with six spaces, which was see an additional number, six spaces within the development layout to be used um, as public parking for, for the play area. So this application this afternoon uh, is a, a, a reserve matters asking members of this committee to consider the layout, the scale, the external appearance of the buildings and the landscaping. So the principal 37 dwellings on the site has been established, including the means of access from Swanwick Lane. The development layout includes 37 units as, as permitted, as I've mentioned. 15 of those units will be affordable. Uh, 10 are for rent and 5 are for shared ownership. There's a mixture of units around the site. Predominantly all the houses are two-storey, but we do have a three-storey, part three-storey and two-storey block, apartment block here on the corner, which reflects the scale of the apartment in the, on the other side of Sonic Lane, and the navigator itself is quite a high building. Um, you will see the access from Swanwick Lane is originally permitted. So we have the sight line now and the lay by has gone. So re to replace that, six spaces in accordance with the planning condition imposed by the inspector, there's six parking spaces for the public to use, uh, plus a new gate so the public can access the play area from those parking spaces. And also the proposal includes uh, the erection of a new bow top fence surrounding the entire area of the play area. You will see the dwellings um, backing on to Swanwick Lane properties here and Green Lane. These distances, as reported in the committee report, do exceed those um, that we normally uh, look for. And properties, particularly in Green Lane up here, uh, are quite some distance away. Also secured through the planning permission was the retention of this treed buffer through here. And this is looked after in future in accordance with a management plan that's incorporated through a management company secured through the legal agreement that was 
entered into at the time of the appeal. Also within that legal agreement, as mentioned in the report, uh, the legal agreement secured contributions for the um, seven servants uh, mitigation strategy in relation to the uh, proximity of the site to the protected um, um, designations at the, in the, the handball uh, across the road. So this is some street scenes for you, just to appreciate through. Um, the, the top um, plots 27 to 31, if I just flip that quickly, that's this boundary here. These properties on the northwestern side. And then we've got the northeast bound, uh, boundary at the bottom, which is this boundary here. So these are the properties backing on to Green Lane. Also, if I could mention, one of the specific requirements of, of the, um, the appeal was that the inspector uh, noted that he that the development, the, the detailed design, that it was important that dwellings should um, front onto the play area because at the moment there's no, uh, it's very limited properties actually fronting onto it. So to give it some natural surveillance, um, these dwellings have all got uh, habitable rooms facing onto the play area to create that, that surveillance. Here in the corner you'll see the, um, the apartment block, which as I mentioned before is part three storey and part two storey. So from Swanwick Lane, these, these are two masonettes here on the, the corner of the access. Um, this is, the apart this is the apartment block, so that's the nice net here. The amenity area, as you've seen from the report, um, I've calculated these areas just around here, which does exceed um, the level we would normally look for. Um, the block of flats has got a little 10 apartments, 10 flats, and there's two masonettes and a flat above a garage. So that's 13 units. So there's adequate amenity space for those 13 units. Just going back to the layout, um, I mentioned also in the report um, that the, uh, the design of, of the new development um, has been designed with a shared surface type approach. Um, this then allows um, a lot of informal uh, off-street informal sort of parking within within the development um, to help assist with formal visitor parking. So we've got an additional 13 spaces that have been achieved by the taking this approach. And this this plan here um, just to demonstrate the visitor parking spaces for the play area, including um, a disabled space. Um, I'd like to draw members' attention to the update report. Um, although the inspector um, facilitated the delivery of these parking spaces by, by, through a planning condition, um, we're suggesting, um, and, the, and the developers agreed to the imposition of an additional condition, um, securing details of how the management company intend to enforce and utilise these spaces so that they're kept available for the public. The inspector touched on the fact in his um, report, uh, decision notice, that um, these spaces are likely or could be used by the, the new residents of, of the parking of the um, estate. However, he did say that, that that's only likely to happen at times sort of later in the evening when there's more pressure when cars come home at the end of the day and then it's unlikely that the play area would be so popular at that time. So you'll see the way that the, um, the condition, the additional condition that's on the update 